Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Go. So, cool. And then now we're back to Q1, uh, running some of 1D away. So this is just what it sounds like. So you blink, you may miss this, but basically you just need to count the running sum. So I just have a running sum, I count it, and then I append it to the answer as I go along. Uh, this is pretty quickly. Because, um, I don't know, <laughs> it looks okay. And then I submit it pretty much. So I did this in about 20 seconds. Go to uh, Q1, running sum of 1D away. So yeah, you just keep track of the running sum. Um, and then you just put it in the way. I don't really know how to describe this problem. You could do it in linear time. It doesn't, these constraints don't really matter because you have to look at each element anyway. So it's linear time, linear space, because that's how much you're returning. Uh, this is straightforward and it is the basis for a lot of different problems in competitive and interviews. So definitely practice this. Uh, and apparently I was able to get this in about 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, that's why I have for this problem. That's Q1.